According to recent figures, contactless card fraud has more than doubled since the payment limit was increased to £100 in 2021. Consumers lost a staggering £41.5 million to contactless card fraud last year, up from £34.9 million in 2022 and £19.1 million in 2021, as reported by the banking industry body UK Finance. The increase in the contactless payment limit to £100 in October 2021 has made bank cards a bigger target for criminal gangs. Fraud experts have noted that gangs are able to steal cards from consumers using low-tech methods such as distraction techniques or entrapment devices attached to ATMs. Criminals will then make a series of small charges on the stolen or cloned cards, taking advantage of the higher payment limit. The pandemic has also played a role in the rise of contactless fraud with fraudsters exploiting the increase in contactless payments and limits by many banks. The popularity of contactless payments has continued to grow post-pandemic, making up nearly 4 in 10 payments in the UK in 2022. While banks claim that the rise in contactless fraud is small relative to the growth in contactless payments overall, the total amount lost to all types of bank fraud in 2023 fell slightly to £1.2 billion. Banks have improved their security systems, stopping £1.25 billion of unauthorized fraud last year, but some £708.7 million was still stolen from consumers. One major issue in the realm of bank fraud is authorized push payment fraud, where scammers trick victims into sending them money. Cases of authorized push payment fraud rose by 12 PC to 232,429 with the amount lost dropping by 5% to £459.7 million. New rules from the payment systems regulator are set to come into effect in October, requiring all payment providers to reimburse victims up to £415,000 for authorized push payment fraud. However, banks are pushing back against these rules, lobbying for a reduction in the compensation cap to £30,000. Some payment firms have expressed concerns about the impact of these regulations on their businesses, suggesting that more responsibility should be placed on consumers to identify fraud and respond appropriately. As the financial services sector continues to work towards combating fraud, it is clear that reimbursement alone will not solve the issue. Victims still suffer, and criminals continue to benefit from stolen funds. It is crucial for both consumers and financial institutions to remain vigilant and proactive in the fight against fraud. Thank you for watching. Stay informed, stay safe, and take the necessary precautions to protect yourself from financial fraud.